What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with a, another video. In today's video, woo! We got breaking news to talk about in the Ballerverse, in the Hornets universe, all of that stuff. Hornets, and they, it's not great news, but it's not terrible news. I'm gonna explain it all to you. Let's go. Triple B! AB the Hero, back at it, baby. Check this out. Now, what I want to break down for y'all too is I, I got on the Jordan cryface meme. Yes, I got on the Jordan cryface meme. However, one of the things that I feel like most people always forget when it comes to the Jordan cryface meme is when Jordan was crying, he wasn't sad. These was tears of joy. These was tears of excitement. These was tears of, dang, I just been awarded a great opportunity in acknowledgement. That's what we're talking about today. Appreciate each and every one of y'all who hit the like button, the subscribe button, all of that jazz. Let's get into the video. Now, we go over here. Let me make sure. We go over here and we see breaking news from woes. ESPN sources, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, and most of y'all, if I said it, y'all wouldn't have believed me, but we're coming from woes. Kenny Atkinson, who has decided he won't become the Charlotte Hornets head coach and will remain with Golden State as top assistant after being offered the job during the NBA Finals. Further conversation led to Atkinson to believe it would be best to remain with the Warriors. Come on now. Here's what I want you to do. In the comment section of this video, let me know what is your initial reaction to hearing that information. How do you feel? What are you thinking? What could lead him to be like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't even want no parts of that. Now, we go here. I'm going to keep it honest with you. I think that this, I'm, 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 a, I'm going to keep it honest with you and say this. When I did a video talking about his hire before, um, I don't think that I said this was a bad idea. I don't think that I said that this is the, the great hire and this is what they need. Some people had made a decision. I was on the fence because I realized what the Hornets actually needed. I, I wasn't, it didn't sound like it was a resounding, this is Kenny Atkinson. And I said what I felt like they needed from last year to this year was a voice who they could relate to, a voice who they would understand, a voice who they could hear, take in what he's saying, understand that he had your best interests at heart, and then move forward and move accordingly because of that. That is what we got with Charlotte, with um, James Borrego is a team who heard him talk but wasn't willing to actually listen to him. They couldn't understand. Bro, you don't understand us and we don't understand you. And so when they brought in Kenny Atkinson and folks told me this was a great call based on X and O's, I was like, but this team is not the the... The drop-off isn't X and O's. The drop-off is relatability. The drop-off is, do you understand who I am as a person? And it seems my man Kenny Atkinson probably got some information, probably seen some of the trials and tribulations happening in the media with this Hornets team and say, you know what, what we don't want a whole championship. Maybe I'm chilling. Maybe Steve Kerr, as my man Poetic Flacco says here in his first comment on Instagram, Steve Kerr about to retire. Maybe Steve Kerr, old head ass. Maybe Steve Kerr, my back, my neck, my back and my neck, just got that fourth ring as a coach and say, you know what? The bag has been secure. The legacy has been secure. Let me take myself home. And they say, you know, Kenny, you about to go over there and you got a phenom. 
but we got a dynasty we trying to do, and you might be an integral part. If you stick around, we already got Mike Brown taking off and going somewhere else. We already had Luke Walton through here. He went off somewhere else. You can go somewhere else, but reality is most folks who leave here tumble. You could stay and we could just maybe hand you the keys. You got to give us time. And he probably doubled back and said, you know what? You know what? You know what? He probably doubled back and did this. You know what, man? Y'all right. I'm, I'm, I'm elated to be able to stay here with a championship contender and, and make it work. Let's get into it. Folks say, yo, this is the opportunity to get Mark Jackson on the phone. Folks say, shit, um, of course you're going to do that. We could go over here real quick. This is something I want to do really fast, really fast. All right, so this is the video I did. We didn't even listen to the video. We're going to come down to the comment section. Uh, if that boy load up, there we go, there we go, there we go. And as you can see, let me make this a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Come on now, make it big. Get it, B. It's a lot of folks who said, I think Kenny a great hire. I said, it's a lot of folks who say, yo, Kenny a great hire. Harold Char, right? The first couple comments, then people like him, too. I'm a man, FIF, great hire. X's and O's, George, great hire. Somebody said, we need, a, we need a new video, and here it is. No coach is guaranteed, but this is a great hire. He was my second choice behind Darvin Ham. And sometimes maybe this is one of those things where nobody wants a girl that nobody else wants. Kenny Atkinson was one of them coaches who everybody wanted. Even the team he was with. And they said, bro, we know you about to go do that, but why don't you hang out a little bit longer? I promise I'm going to change my ways. I promise we're going to create some opportunity for you. All of these things, I don't know. I'm just saying that this current situation got me hyped. Has me hyped for the future, right? Because I understand what could possibly be next in this Hornets franchise situation. They have an opportunity to get the right guy. Understand why a guy like Kenny Atkinson could look at that roster and say, eh. People told me he has history building a young team, right? And here's the controversial part of the video. I went back and I looked at the roster of that young team that he built and they not built the same as this Hornets team. What do you mean by that? Jared Allen was a young buck when he was building that team. Jared Allen turned out to be a stellar player. But if you really had to compare big to big and you thought about the personalities of a Montrez Harrell and a Jared Allen, completely different people. They, they best player on that team was a D'Angelo Russell. And you look at D'Angelo Russell and how he built and compare that to LaMelo Different people. Spencer Dinwiddie, Miles Bridges, Terry Rose. We got folks who get it out the mud over here in Charlotte. I don't know if Kenny Atkinson can speak that language. I listen to Miles Bridges rap and I be like, is Miles Bridges a rapper who plays basketball? Is he a basketball player who raps? Because he be coming with bars straight from the sh I think Miles Bridges rap like, like he just was off the block two days ago and all of a sudden he somehow got an NBA contract. That's all I'm saying. It's interesting to see how this plays out. I think that there are coaches who are open to taking this position who might find themselves in a more suitable position to be able to speak to the heart of this Hornets team and who may be able to transition them into champions in a shorter period of time than I believe a Kenny Atkinson might have been able to. Now, when it comes to X's and O's, Kenny Atkinson probably would have been a great hire. I cannot dispute that at all. But when it comes to heart, when it comes to head, and when it comes to can we relate, can we build rapport, can you understand me, I think they need somebody else. Shemaine Man, AB the Hero, we getting up out of here. Peace. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's. We out.